Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. You know, I have to admit, it's good to see that every so often, more people are subscribing to this channel. I thank those of you who have, and hope you encourage others who are interested in the Bible to do so as well. You provide a real encouragement. No reason for me to keep producing the show. However, let us see if we can get 25 subscribers by the time I finish reading the book of Exodus on the 6th of October 2013. I really think that would be a stunning accomplishment, and a real sign that the Bible is as relevant today as it has ever been. Don't forget to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk, especially the new links page, which will have links to some very important sites to help to show that the Word of God is needed in these modern times. Now let's do the right thing, and open God's Word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your Word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a best understanding of you. Amen. Exodus, chapter 18 Now we all, the priests of Midian, Moses' father-in-law, heard of all that God had done for Moses, and for Israel his people, how that Yahweh had brought Israel out of Egypt. We all, Moses' father-in-law received Zephariah, Moses' wife, after he had sent her away, and her two sons. The name of one son was Geshem, but Moses said, I have lived as a foreigner in a foreign land. The name of the other was Eliezer, for he said, My father's God was my help, and delivered me from Pharaoh's sword. We all, Moses' father-in-law, came with his sons and his wife to Moses, into the wilderness where he was encamped. At the mountain of God. He said to Moses, I, your father in law, Reol, have come to you with your wife and the two sons with her. Moses went out to meet his father in law, bowed and kissed him. They asked each other of their welfare, and they came to the tent. Moses told his father in law all that Yahweh had done to Pharaoh and to the Egyptians for Israel's sake, all the hardships that had come on them on the way and how Yahweh delivered them. We all rejoiced for the goodness which Yahweh had done to Israel, and that he delivered them out of the hand of the Egyptians. We all said, Blessed be Yahweh, who has delivered you out of the hand of the Egyptians, and out of the hand of Pharaoh, who has delivered the people from under the hand of the Egyptians. Now I know that Yahweh is greater than all gods, because of the thing in which they dealt arrogantly against them. We all, Moses' father-in-law, took burnt offering and sacrifices for God, and then came with all the elders of Israel to eat bread with Moses' father-in-law before God. On the next day, Moses sat to judge the people, and the people stood around Moses from the morning to the evening. When Moses' father-in-law saw all that he did to the people, he said, What is this thing you do for the people? Why do you sit alone? And all the people stand around you from morning to evening. Moses said to his father-in-law, Because the people come to me to inquire of God. When they have a matter, they come to me, and I judge between a man and his neighbour. And I make them know the statutes of God and his laws. Moses' father-in-law said to him, The thing you do is not good. You will surely wear our way, both you and this people that are with you. The thing is too heavy for you. You are not able to perform it yourself alone. Listen now to my voice. I will give you counsel, and God be with you. You represent the people before God, and bring the causes to God. You shall teach them the statutes and the laws, and shall show them the way in which they must walk, and the work that they must do. Moreover, you shall provide that of all the people, able men that fear God, men of truth, hating unjust gain, and place such over them, to be rulers of thousands, rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties, and rulers of tens. Let them judge the people at all times. It shall be that every great matter they shall bring to you, but every small matter they shall judge themselves. So shall it be easier for you, and they shall share the load with you. If you will do this thing, and God commands you so, then you will be able to endure, and all these people will also go to their place in peace. So Moses listened to the voice of his father-in-law, 
and did all that he had said. Moses chose able men out of all Israel and made them heads over the people, rulers of thousands, rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties, and rulers of tens. They judged the people at all times. They brought the hard causes to Moses. For every small matter they judged themselves. Moses left his father-in-law depart, and he went his way into his own land. <laughs>